Well, I appreciate everybody being here today, and uh, it's an exciting time on campus, and uh, most importantly for me, I uh, just want to wish good luck to all the students uh, in finals, including obviously mine. I uh, got a chance to walk around campus, and uh, it, it was cool, because it was it just, what, it wasn't too long ago that I was in school myself, so to see those people studying hard, and uh, I was able to walk around and hand out some donuts and just try to uplift some people. But uh, the coolest thing was actually everybody saying, Coach, you know what? I've been to your games. All right. And uh, that's, again, why I'm absolutely in love with this job uh, and so grateful and thankful for this opportunity. And this is just a special place with special people. Um, so that was awesome. And then, uh, like I've mentioned before, this is a fun time for me. Uh, even though our students are in finals, it's like my finals. We have an opportunity to evaluate as a staff, uh, sit down with our players one-on-one -on -one individually and see where we're at. What are we doing well? What are we not? Uh, I have to give a shout out to my video coordinator, uh, Kelby Jones, who did a great job putting clip tapes together. Uh, we did self-scouts where we put all their packages, made layups, missed layups, missed mid-ranges, made mid-ranges. Uh, missed threes and made threes, uh, along with turnovers and, and some defensive stuff. So we can sit down and say, hey, this is what your grade's at right now. Uh, this is what you're doing well. And then this is what we need to improve uh, as we finish up non-conference and we get ready for the SEC. So there's an excitement with my team. Uh, I definitely think there's more clarity and understanding of, uh, for my players of understanding what I need at this time. Um, so we got to finish up finals and then see when the games come back if we can uh, apply what we've been working on hard behind the scenes. So I'm uh, looking forward to this Sunday and take questions that anybody might have. Uh, you've got these two games in Starkville before you head to Tampa. What are, what are some things you're looking for in these two performances? Well, I mean, every game matters. So uh, one thing I did was talk to my team about net rankings. Obviously, they just came out, and I informed them. What are we playing for, right? Sometimes college athletics, you just play, but you don't understand, well, what are the rules in place? Uh, all of us are following football right now. Men's basketball has a different scale. Uh, so we took, a, we took advantage of talking about the net rankings for women's basketball. Uh, and points per possession matter. Defensive points per possession matter. So we've really harped on in practice, uh, finishing free throws, finishing layups, taking care of the ball, uh, and having a mentality that, you know what, if you don't score, then we got to get stopped. So that's the kind of things I'm looking for uh, as we come into these games, if we can take that kind of mentality for all four quarters. Sam, you talked about just assessing, you know, talking to the players, assessing the first part of the schedule and all that stuff. I mean, what are your thoughts on where y'all are as a team right now and individually where players are so far just a few games in the season? Yeah, obviously I would love to be undefeated. I mean, I think every coach would say that, but I'm so excited about the team I have. Um, I, I absolutely love them because here's the thing. Every single game, only thing I ever ask is them to give me everything they've got. And I think I've had a bunch that has been able to do that from day one. Uh, and then it's my responsibility to help them and show them why we're not winning certain games, uh, which we lost two heartbreakers. Um, so it's been receptive on their end because they are bought in. Uh, they've allowed me and my staff to coach them. Um, so I couldn't be more grateful to be their head coach. And because of that attitude we have in our program and that culture we've got going on, uh, we've had some really good practices. And uh, I'm excited to see how we come out as we finish up Christmas break. Uh, Y'all have shown you can really get into the paint, and you, you talked about in your last presser that Jess Carter is one of the best post players in the country. Yes. Um, when it comes to kind of expanding that and spreading the floor, uh, how important is it you know, getting players like Jerkayla Jordan firing on some nights, and then uh, Debrisha Poe as well? Uh, you used her at the three in this last game, kind of spreading the floor for you. Well, on behalf of Jessica Carter, but which by the way, today's her birthday. Uh, <laughs> it's very important, right? No, no post player is dominant as her once five bodies are around her. Um, so her teammates know that. Uh, we, we realize we got one of the best post players in the country. And again, that's where uh, we've had great conversations with our players, um, especially as finals ends. They're going to have more time to get in the gym. And they know that they got to clean up some stuff uh, so we can space that floor and truly be that true team that's hard to guard, hopefully, come March. Anything else? Uh, our coach? 